Hey, what's going on? It's Kevin Mano here. Uh, not on the balcony because it's like 150 degrees in Los Angeles. So uh, I am sitting with lights. Hello. In our little listening room. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, it's nice. I actually quite enjoy the view. It's oh good, yeah. It's inspiring. We do have a nice building. We're here in Burbank. We've got the uh, the hills behind us. Yeah, and stuff. you get a little taste of LA right here. Exactly. Nice, exactly. Nice. Do you spend much time here? On and off, yeah. Especially working on this record. I did a lot of it here. Okay. Um, and then have family here and friends so yeah i actually spent a lot of time here more than i ever have okay and i we'll like it a lot we'll get into all of that skin and earth the album and yes, of course the comics craziness. which i was just handed which is very cool um we were just talking about parenthood though yes how old is your daughter now she's four she's three and a half okay three and a half and you have a one-year-old I have a one-year-old so i'm right behind we're you we're like parent vibing right now it's the best and we were talking about how they're not sentient blobs anymore. No, they are sentient they blobs They are sentient, now. but they're not, they're not <laughs> insentient blobs. Your daughter's not so much a blob anymore. Neither is mine. No, they're Oh, God, active. this sounds terrible. We're calling no, our children blobs. Um, they are so much fun. And, like, actually yesterday I put, um, when I was trying, going to go back a step, when I was trying to, like, get myself ready to do red hair, because mm. I haven't always had red hair. Right. Believe it or not, it's not natural. It's lovely, by the Thank way. Thank you. It's really nice. Um, I feel like in the like online stuff, it looked a little more orange, or is that it, it, you just go from orange to red? If it fades out, it can go to orange. But okay. I, yeah, it's funny. Like people be like, "Ah, oh, I see orange." I'm like, "No." We had this debate about um, uh, Team Zisu. What's that movie? Life Aquatic. Yes. What color are their hats? Oh, I would say red. Interesting. Hmm. We've had this conversation a lot. Some people would say orange. So I don't I know. I feel like I might have to look at it, but just in my, in my memory, we've my mind's it, eye, it's red. We've had long debates about the color of the hats. What do you movie. say? Orange. Ah. So people have different perspectives. Ah. But anyways, <laughs> going back to my <laughs> topics, I got I bought a bunch of red wigs to try out the hair. Sure. And in private, or were you wearing them out? No, just like at home to see if yeah, I liked sure. it. And I was like, yeah. I think I like this a lot. So I have like all these red wigs at home now. And so I put them on her yesterday, going oh. back to our unsentient blobs. Um, <laughs> or our, our sentient blobs. I, I, whatever. Th that came going because we were talking about yeah. like the first six months of their life when they're not really giving a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, now they're blobs, giving, yeah. And then they become sentient blobs. Um, and she put the hair on, and it was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh. She looked like Ariel, a little mermaid with this big, giant red wig. And it was just fun. So she's at the stage where she's a blast and loves like dressing up and acting and singing and all this stuff. So That's she's, awesome. yeah, she's awesome. So my daughter is four or one. Yours is almost four. Um, like, what's the best looking back for you? What's the best chapter that I have ahead of me right now? Because it feels like right it's now it's like the best. Yeah, it can honestly, possibly be. It, and that's the way it should be. Like, it feels like every chapter is the best one, but every one that comes is better. Yeah. And like, like uh, we travel a lot, obviously, as mm -hmm. a. You know, I take her with me when I tour and do stuff for the most part. And she's getting easier and easier to travel with. Last time we flew, which is last week, she was just sitting there, like, on her iPad and, like, coloring. And previously she would, you know, cry or there'd be that variable. Yeah, it's but it's, it's not like that anymore. She's been on several flights and it's a uh, just like They're like little grown-ups. And, you know, she'll be like, don't talk to me. <laughs> or she goes, don't talk to me. And I'm like, all right. That's super cute. Yeah, so, like, they, they all of a sudden develop this independence and – and then you'll you'll learn to love that too because yeah yeah you know. well how is it you you know you and your husband are both musicians so how is touring with her traveling with her she loves it uh, and I mean they forget things so easily it's yeah. really funny so we were on the like I was visiting my husband who's on a warp tour mm -hmm. this summer and uh, she was sitting like looking out the bus being like I've never been on a bus before and I'm like actually oh, you spend a lot of yeah. time on a bus you know yeah, you just so have no memory yeah of it. exactly so yeah everything's like a new discovery and she's yeah it's a blast do you guys i'm sorry if this is too personal but do you talk about having more do you want more i think you know if <laughs> here's the thing with dudes so they think it's really easy right yeah <laughs> they're like let's just have another one i'm like yeah uh no the whole pregnancy <laughs> thing yeah. is a little uh <laughs> yeah it's yeah. it's like um the dude doesn't do anything when they're <laughs> making a baby <laughs> the woman does it all Obviously, once the baby's born, that's when more action comes in. But uh, like, it would be hard for my career if I were to have another one right sure. now. Sure, understood completely. But uh, in time, uh, it's just such a like such an awesome experience, and yeah. you know, you are helping create a person that's going to contribute to the world, and you hope that you get you make someone that's that's worthy. You know, totally. So it's it's fun. Yeah. Well said. Someday. It seems like you guys are doing a great job raising her. I mean, Likewise. she seems like an awesome girl. Thank you. <laughs> um, I wanted to tell you on a personal note, I used to work at MTV and I had a, a girl, her name was Lene. She worked there uh, with me and she was a massive fan of yours. So this oh, is like crazy. back like 2008. Yeah, I think you put out yeah. like a self-titled EP. Yeah, that was the first EP. And so she was always giving everybody copies of your music. Like everybody, you have to love Lene. lights. Yeah, yeah Lene. Girl. Um, and so whenever I hear your music or your name or something, yeah. I just, I think back to those days, Aww. fond memories. Aww. I was thinking about that and just, 
you have no idea, you know, artists don't know, I guess, like the way your your art connects with people yeah. that you just have no idea. You yeah. know what I mean? Just like triggers all of these emotions yeah. for people just to hear your name or yeah. something. It's crazy. It's yeah, that's a, such an amazing thing. I'm still learning. I mean, I have a friend of mine who's a tattoo artist and he was like uh, telling me the other day how many portraits he's done of me on people. Wow. And and to me, I'm just like, that's almost how many cute. I used to like 10 or oh something my God. like that. I mean, one would be and a lot. I know. <laughs> and, and so it's just kind of like it's overwhelming. But then I think back to the artists that have influenced me and I'm like, they've had so much of an impact. I wouldn't mm -hmm. know how to approach them. Like, I remember I had the opportunity to meet Phil Collins once and his oh. music, you know, I've grown up listening to his music. I think he's a great songwriter, like amazing songwriter mm -hmm. uh, all for a million reasons. And I met him. And of course, like in that moment, everything that has influenced me about Phil Collins in my life has come to a head and I just was reduced to like a crying 12 year old sure. girl and couldn't even speak to him. Yeah. So it's like how, you know, I've been there. Uh -huh. I know how it is. Absolutely. It is. I mean, people, you know, Music like affects you without even knowing over the years, I've interviewed some of my absolute favorite musicians or even actors or whatever. And who was the most overwhelming? Oh God, that's a tough question. I it know. really is. Like, um, were you ever, uh, in front of someone and reduced to like, in inability to speak kind of probably thing. a couple over the years my favorite band of all time is against me oh cool and so yeah. years ago yeah. uh when laura was tom yeah you know i had several yeah. interactions with tom and i was yeah. always worried that i was just making a fool of myself because yeah. i'm such a big fan yeah it's so hard to sort of separate that you know yeah it totally is like you don't uh, that's the hardest thing when music has influenced you so much or an artist has influenced you you don't know how you can give back to them mm -hmm. so you just kind of stand there like in awe right? yeah yeah um, let's talk about the album. We have to talk about the comic book, too. Yeah. Can I, I call it a comic book? Is it a graphic novel? What are we calling it's a comic this? I think a lot of people are confused about the, the, the difference between comics and graphic novels. Graphic novels are either just a collection of comics mm -hmm. or uh, a story from start to end in comic form. But, yeah, I, there's six of these. Uh, one a month, starting this month. And this is, is the first issue one. one. This is issue one. This I is technically not out yet. This, this is comes not out yet. Like this comes out in a few days. Yeah. I saw this for the first time last night in the flesh. And this is something I've been working on. Like, cause I did all the art, all the inking, all the coloring, all the lettering. Like, you really did? I did every single thing Impressive. in this comic. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. So I put about 10 hours into every page. And that's about 160 pages. It's been a journey. That's a lot <laughs> yeah. of work. Yeah. And it all goes with the record. It does. So this uh, issue is... Um, for a song called Skydiving, okay. which is not out. It will be coming out this month as well. But uh, And the first single, actually, Giants, is off out of issue five. So in that video, it actually brings up some stuff that can be expected from the storyline to come. So is there a storyline throughout the whole album? There is. And, I mean, is it all sort of connected? I, I saw yeah. the video for Giants, which is amazing. Yeah. yeah. It looked very, like, big budget. I mean, it was... <laughs> was it? Like was it? <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it, was, was it was a decent budget. It looked like for a movie. For, yeah, th well, I'm glad to hear that. Jeremy yeah. Shalonru, the director, is... Amazing. He did those pop videos with the Stranger Things kid. Oh, okay. And like, he's just amazing. His vision's great. So, I mean, what? He, I obviously, that's owed to him. His like cinematic perspective. Sure. No, they're, um, they're beautiful. But we also climbed a mountain to make that video. Uh -huh. You really did climb we, the mountain. We, we climbed like three mile hike up a you mountain. You weren't choppered in or anything. No, like I. W it wasn't that high budget. <laughs> if that, yeah, it wasn't that high budget. But uh, it was, yeah, it it was awesome. And uh, yeah, that that one, I was able to see all the characters come to life, and that was very much like constantly on the phone with Jeremy, like making sure all the references were right and all the, uh, even the ads in the background and the, the, mm -hmm. the big corporation that's in the, this post-apocalyptic world, that's all played into the video and all the styling. And well, what can you tell me? I mean, can you give me more about this story that yeah. is unfolding? Yeah, so basically it's it's uh, following this girl named N, Anaya, um, in this post-apocalyptic world. They live in this place called Madison Oasis, which is like the last bastion of humanity years after famine and plague have taken out the rest of the world mm. and and even so it's it's this sort of um, anomalous spring that ma that keeps them alive uh, and they're divided into two classes so the red sector and the pink sector the pink sector is the wealthy like we own everything we run the media and the red sector is sort of the average bear okay. lives over there they're the working class and they're dying from disease because they're just constantly industry is constantly taking so it's kind of this hopeless ex existence because even though they only have this much left of the world, they're using it up still because of their uh, opulent lifestyles on, a, on sure. the wealthy side. So there's um, commentary on classism and a couple things like that. Um, but but oh. essentially the story started out, without giving too much away, um, as uh, the basic concept was this, a young woman entranced by a spirit having to go within herself to defeat it, um, 
and come out stronger on the other end. And that and that was originally a commentary on depression and uh, mm. inner turmoil, stuff that I've dealt with, stuff that a lot of people sure. deal with. And the story, that was the story I took in to songwriting sessions, and I was like, this is the trajectory of the story. But then, because uh, originally it was just going to be this little side comic that went with it. Okay, so that was never your intention to sit down and uh, make I this concept I album I mean with I these comics. I always kind of wanted to, but I thought, this is impossible. I can't do that. Yeah. I, I, I just don't know how. But as the story started to unfold and the songs started to come out and then everything started to build on itself, mm -hmm. I was like, the, this story deserves so much more. So I built the world around it and her existence and her style and just like I, I, I was reading a lot of books on creating comics and um, trying to learn how to do it. There's a book by Alan Moore who's like a legendary writer in mm -hmm. comics. Um, he wrote Watchmen. <coughs> and, uh, cool. He said, um, what you have to do before you create a story and characters is create a world, create an environment, the government systems there, the weather, the everything, and then create, pick a wormhole in time through this world, which becomes your plot. So, and then everything will write itself because you'll understand the world that they live in. So that came next. I, I created this whole world. And following that formula, following did it all just sort of pour out yeah, after that? and it all poured out. Like I created, I literally created maps in, in like, uh, created companies that exist in this world and machinery that's unique to this world and and of wow. course i wanted to use that eventually so i there's an instagram page called instagram.com slash uh, skin and earth world right and it's actually okay. a map where you can be interactive with the world because i wanted to show that side of it so if, if anyone ever wants to check that out it's cool of course skin that's and earth awesome world on instagram and uh yeah and so i had no idea it was so complex it's really so com there's so many layers to it and as a comic fan uh that's stuff that i appreciate yeah. all the details and that you know like it's like lore like tolkien you go you can dive in for days for sure and learn more and more about the world and so um, this is like nowhere near tolkien level but like there's a degree of that uh explorability to the world yeah and everything's related and there's all kinds of easter eggs for the comics and everything's directly related to the music so yeah it was just like this in I, I, I literally ha got insomnia creating this project i'm sure it sounds like yeah it. i was my, I'm my mind blown is alive. away right now <laughs> at how at, at all of the work you did on this you should be yeah. very very proud yeah, of yourself you. for creating a world and I, I actually am very proud you should be <laughs> I i'm was shocked I'm last night seeing it i was like this is i this can't is wait cool. now to dive into all this honestly <laughs> yeah it's it's pretty pretty amazing so i'm um, it's it's been fun and i'm kind of like I had no idea how to do this, and I, I w at the beginning, I was like, I got to find someone to write this, and then maybe I can do the art, and went to the top, and I w approached Brian K. Vaughn, who's an amazing writer in the comic world as well, and he was, of course, busy. Like this, uh, they've all got a million things sure. going on, but he he said to me, like, you're a writer already, because he's heard my music, mm -hmm. uh, like, you should do this, and that was when I was like, I guess I could, Yeah. And, uh, and, and after doing all this, I wrote it, and then did all the art. I talked to some of my friends who are, you know, artists in the comic world, gave me some advice. And I, I suddenly saw this thing coming to life and it's like, you can do anything. It made me feel like I could do anything because I just learned on YouTube. Yeah. Watch webinars, learn how to like use coloring techniques. And, and so I get now in that video you posted yeah. online, why you were having that reaction to yeah. holding this. That's yeah. a long time coming. It was and a long time coming. To I started tangibly drawing this a year have ago. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big deal. I know. It, 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 so it was yeah it's been a journey and like seeing it in the flesh was amazing good for you so where can people get this online is there like a limited run or anything you can or get them online um you can also go to comic stores if okay. they brought it in and get them there um there's a comic store locator on my website imlights.com but also you can order them from my website in the merch store um because there's sort of a limit uh a time limit to get issue one gotcha. when you're getting it from comic stores if they haven't already brought it in so you know you add it to your pull list which mm -hmm. is you know a list of titles that you subscribe to at a comic shop and they'll bring them in for you every month or you can order them online or you can get them digitally like on comiXology or there's a thousand yeah. ways to read comics well lights i'm impressed this is this is awesome <laughs> honestly you. congrats on the album and the comic and your life and your daughter thank and everything you. thank you you too and th oh thank you so much i know i haven't <laughs> created a world yet but you know <laughs> doing okay um well, thank you lights here at my fm i'm gonna go read this right now enjoy it thank you